Libra, welcome to your April forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Looks like you want to change your uh, current financial standing. You're growing a little bit tired. You're fe you feel so discontented. And... You want to look for more. Mm. You're also having a hard time at work because you're being bullied or you're... If you like uh, the people around you are trying to gang up against you. Mm. Well, there is somebody around you that you have to let go, but you're not... I mean, you're not really doing it because you're, you feel so... You're trying to hold on to, you know, to your foundation altogether and... Uh, you know. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, you're trying to weigh things. I mean, you're trying to weigh your options as to what is the best thing for you at this point because you're growing really a little bit impatient about how things are going. You want to file for a resignation, but you know that this is not yet the right time, especially that you haven't really found anything yet, you know, at the surface. And uh, you know that there is not enough foundation for you to stay in this job, but you're feeling a little bit anxious, okay? You are also thinking if you're going to be quitting and there's no, you know, there's nothing yet on the horizon, then you will have a hard time getting by. And of course, that you do have some other bills to pay. But you are also thinking if, you know, what will be the best thing for you to, to get by and for you to survive this jungle office politics. On the other hand, when it comes to your relationship, it seems like some Libras will also be filing for a divorce or, you know, contemplating into filing for a divorce because you are already tired and sick of the situation that you're in with your with your partner and you're you're done putting up with all of their dramas and miseries in life and they're just dragging you down instead of pushing you up and you're already struggling with your job and when it comes to your work sorry when it comes to your domestic place or domestic house that you least ex expect to give you some comfort and but it's it is even more hellish in your workplace so 
You just want to walk away altogether and leave everything behind to start something new. Okay. Now, and I feel like you know the you, you already know the answer even if you will try to talk to your partner because they're not going to listen to you and you have also tried to patch things up or to put a solution to your problem but they don't want to talk. It's like they're the one who's already intentionally ruining your relationship so it's time for you to make a decision about this. Now when it comes to your work you know that there is someone who's been betraying you and putting you into a lot of uh, compromising stuff and they also you know they're also bullying you. So you tried to talk to your boss about this but they did not listen to you. So you will be making a decision this month to finally move to a sister company of your, of wherever you are right now. Sister company or it's a neighboring company. Okay, it will be in the same area. And they will also be offering you a much better compensation, benefits. And you'll be very happy with your decision. It will just come all of a sudden. Okay, it will just happen out of the blue. But it will be last week of April. So don't, don't rush it to anything for the next three weeks. But... You have to be ready for whatever that's going to be coming your way financially and you'll be able to walk away with victory and pride in this infested workplace. Now, when it comes to your love life, you are really getting tired of, you know, all the never ending... Um all the never-ending uh, dramas and well you're, you're still thinking about your foundation but you feel like as much as you want to consider you know staying as much as you want to consider your foundation and times together you feel like it's just really time to walk away for a little while to find yourself and take a little breather and you will be able to get out of this turmoil or tornado or hurricane that you're trapped in because you will definitely find the light and uh, you know the guiding path you'll be going through a transformation so obviously there is somebody that you need to sacrifice or there's a sacrifice that you have to make and you will be balancing your options because this person right before you walk away from the your house or from your relationship you will be discovering that they've been cheating on you for a long period of time already and Lesson learned that you will be taking much more of what you can get from the relationship and you will be preparing for your new beginning as well. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it looks like, well, you're just trying to blindfold yourself over some obvious things that your partner has been doing to you and has been performing and you know even the way they touch you they kiss you the way you know the way how it is when they are with you everything just seems so different and weird and you know that they are doing something right behind you you will try to you know you will try to have sex with your partner this week this month but there will be a lot of it's like they are the one who will be revealing whatever they are doing, okay? And you will see it in your mind. It's not an illusion. It's more of your intuition that you will suddenly picture whatever they are doing and whatever he is doing to some other one person, okay? And I feel like this person is just after the oral thing. So they will be... And you know what, also the relationship and the sex life is more of a one-way thing, okay? I don't really feel like there's too much of a give and take. It's more likely that you are the one who keeps on giving and giving and giving. And they just want to play the, pi the, uh, the pillow princess, okay? So, well, somebody will be. Um, intentionally playing around you when it comes to your work. And someone will also be, you know... Uh, be careful with sexual harassment, okay? Especially if you're be if you're gonna be working out late in the office and you're the one who'll be left, you'll he'll be left alone, or there will be like very few people. Make sure that you're gonna be with someone because someone is planning something against you, okay? Be very careful about this, and you know that even if you try to revive the situation with your partner, you know that it's you know almost over over. 
And when it comes to your health, you need to rehydrate and uh, you, also, you will also have some problems with your breathing, asthma, bronchitis, bronchial problems, and uh, nasal problems. And I feel like you need to have some more supplements for your immune system. Do not self-medicate and uh, it's much better for you to go and see, uh, go and check out with the doctor what's really, wrong, what's really going on with you. And... I feel like you also need to gain a little bit of a weight. Because you are, you know, it's like you're too conscious of your body in the past and now you're, um, you look too frail and thin. So it's time for you to, you know, it's time for you to gain some more energy and gain some more appetite. Uh, you will also be losing your teeth or you will find that your teeth will just fall and while you're brushing your teeth and you will be it's like um, you will also have some problems with your stomach with your chest with your liver with your kidney appendix as well um, um, you will also have some problems um, sitting for a long period of time. Oh, and by the way, be careful with carbuncles. Okay, and uh, you will also be st you'll also start noticing some red patches that's very itchy, and uh, you know it's like it's burning. Plus, uh, there will be some scaly uh, scaly um, wounds or like a scabies that will be um, um, that you will start noticing on, t on your shoulder down to your to your arms and the forearm and then um, chest it's an allergy and um, I feel like you will also have some problems with the upcoming weather or season now nine of emotion uh, this is magical time in your life where wishes are granted and dreams come true it may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Three, abundance. Your passions will lead, you, will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interest by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Review and contemplation, you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present and you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking and be the real you. All right, that's it for you for this month. Uh, Libra, if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.